Once again, I want you to found a new city. But the criteria for success are a little different this time. The Roman Empire is in crisis. Whether because of Ceres' anger or due to human incompetence, famine stalks the empire. You have governed long enough now to understand the dire results of a lack of food. Thus, I am speeding up our colonization of the new province of Hispania. Imperial surveyors report finding a valley with ample farmland and good river access for seaborne trade. Build a farming colony there and be prepared to ship food back to Italia. As always, I will rate your performance, and this time I have modest expectations for you. Although your city need not house as many people as the last one, it should be more prosperous and should achieve better culture. To reflect my increased reliance on you, I expect you to earn more favor with me as well. I will require frequent shipments of food and will look favorably upon you if you fulfill these requests in a timely fashion. Many lives depend on your success at opening this new food source for the Empire. There is no military threat in Taraco. You need only manage your city well to end the famine and restore people's confidence in their government. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're running the Augustus mod today, uh, which is a whole bunch of new gameplay features, and we are doing Forced Walkers on every single mission. If you want to know what Forced Walkers are, I have a two-minute video explaining how they work. Let's go to the city. And just as a note, we also have the HD music installed, so you're gonna hear a new intro to this first song, and also all the music is higher quality. Now, this map, we know, we know what happens on this map, but it's pretty interesting, and uh, let's, uh, let's try do something new. We can't really do much here. Uh, what can I do with forced walkers on this map? So this is the main building area we could use this existing road i just have to figure out how i want to do it oh, okay this this area here is actually kind of handy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear this area here this is gonna be our forced walker row oh but then again food food comes from up here. I guess we'll make it work. I guess we'll make it work, right? Unless... Okay. I think, think we can figure it out. So, what I'm going to do... One, two, yeah. So I'm just gonna have a road go down this way. And then we're gonna need a road going along here. And we can tweak things as needed. So this is the basis of our forced walker loop. And then I have this road that just extends around like this. Yes. And just to be safe, I will break that road. And I have this road snaking through along like this. So I'm going to use this existing road. This is going to be quite long. Then we loop over like this, okay. And this should get us everything we need. Yes, yes, this is gonna be our city. Though I'm gonna shift this road to take advantage of space a bit more by doing that. And we break this road. Okay, this is gonna be our city. Lovely. Lovely. It's a super long road, but we're going to make it work. Uh, so to get things started, we're going to have to throw down houses at various locations. Uh, clear some of these trees. Typically, I don't like to clear trees too much, but I'm going to sort of make this work. Right, good. Yeah, and then we're going to use probably here. Yep. Gonna have nice big row houses there, nice big row houses there, bunch of houses there, and bunch of houses here. That should be pretty good. We'll need to throw down reservoirs to cover everything. Can I? Yeah, 
this. That should actually... Actually, if I do... If I clear this... Let's unpause the game. If I have the reservoir here, it actually covers... Pretty much everything. So let's get that going. I will need another reservoir down this way as well, I think. Let's just prep for that. Wait, no, I just I can have a reservoir on this side of the road. Right. Once those sheep move out of the way. I think I can have one there. Alright, so let's uh, scatter firehouses everywhere. Prefecture. 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 And then matching engineer's posts. That should keep us okay. Good to go. Yep. Let's throw down fountains. We're gonna kill sheep. Okay, that actually covers everything there. And we just need to do that and that. I don't think those sheep are gonna leave. So I'm gonna have to Put a reservoir somewhere else. Doesn't quite... Oh, got it. Yes, the sheep just about moved out of the way. All right, so this is our start of a city. What's our major exports? They're all by water. They buy wheat and fruit. They buy marble and pottery. So marble pottery, probably a good trade to get started. You know, let's let's start farming over here. Marble and pottery, we can get that going pretty soon, right? Uh, oh, before I forget, let's throw down some doctors. Just to keep that going. Yes, good. Uh, temples, let's do all. So we're gonna have... series and then we scatter the rest neptune mercury mars venus okay temples for the gods and then as people move in uh i set up i want to do this leave a little bit of room there a dock oh I thought it was that side. No, it's this side. Oh, it's this side. We can have a dock here, right? This connects. Yes, we can also have a dock here. Okay, this actually works a little bit better for me. People upset. People are annoyed with me. Let's drop taxes to zero. Let's raise wages a little bit. Let's set our salary down. Uh, let's pause the game while I get this started. Uh, we're gonna need a ship bridge crossing over here. That costs 600. Okay, that's fine. Just need a path through the trees. We're gonna need some room here to mine marble and set up a clay industry some room here okay then we can throw down a dock right here then we go raw materials clay pit we do clay pit clay pit and then raw materials marble quarry We're gonna need a warehouse here, accepting, uh, not markets, pottery and marble, 16 of each, all of these new Augustus features, and we need some workshops for pottery.
Okay. And that's gonna be our primary export. We're short on some workers, but more should be moving in. And then we can just set up a third marble quarry. Okay, good. Nice little export venture going on there. Let's make sure we have Firehouse Engineers post and road up to the coast. Okay, good. Global workers, nice. Okay, uh, what else can we do? Uh, make more room for houses, I think. Here are some of these trees. Okay, good. So exports should be going. 52 workers short. I'd like to start feeding people. So what I'm going to need is a granary here. Like that. Which, by the way, because of Augustus, this still counts as a straight road. The intersection doesn't count. What was that? Population milestone, 500. Nice. This is going to be getting wheat. And we're going to need to get wheat. Do I need a second granary? I might need two granaries to really get stuff down here. Leave some room to expand this road further. Two granaries might actually work. So let's do this. Because it's a bit far. So two granaries to get things. How's our risk of fire? It's a little extra risk of fire here. So let's really make sure it's covered. Not as confident over here. Okay, good. So we're only short two workers. Uh, 12 workers, rather. 17 workers. 15 workers. But more people are moving in. Uh, do I need to roadblock this? I think I do need to roadblock this. Good. Uh, to stop that happening, yes. And then as exports are now... Should be, oh, wait, no. Exports are not going out. I'm gonna have to go into debt to open this trade route. Okay, and we can set our exports from here. Export there, export there. Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Good. And with this money, we set up farmland. Uh, and I want to set up immediately here. How do I do this? I'm gonna need a granary on this side. So if I set the granary here... I could have the road extend like this, the road extend like that. I think I can fit a farm here. It'll extend out just a little bit. And then with this road, one, two, three, I can do that. So that is where the ship bridge... No, we can have a low bridge here, right? Low bridge. There's low bridge, right? There. Okay. We need to do that to connect things up and start having wheat farms set up around here. Three prefectures. Two engineers posts. That should keep things running. <laughs> and then this road just extends down to here, and we roadblock that. And this is set to just accepting wheat and not receiving market ladies. So market ladies don't walk up to that granary. There we go. We're going to bring food over and feed the people. I need to 
plaza that up. Okay, I think we're making money. Another successful voyage. The profit from this place makes the seasickness bearable. <laughs> I just realized. There's no space for a warehouse. I'm gonna move this... Granary, one over. So that I can have two road there. Granary right here. Then the market can go between the granaries. You're just taking wheat for now. And then a warehouse can go there. For the other goods. Maybe here. Good. Food's coming down. And that will feed our entire city. Because that's how forced walkers work. Imagine if the Pharaoh remake does well, the others might get a remake as well. Hopefully. Hopefully, right? Like, if it makes Activision money, then I don't see why they won't remake the other ones. Bellwood, thank you so much. Remaining a Zachalite. For six months. <laughs> you see, channel viewership has grown. For Caesar 3, it always grows. Now, uh, what else do these guys need? They have temples. I feel like I'm gonna need more, but uh, let's give them the basics as people move in. Uh, theater. Library. Forum, so we can tax people. Let's raise taxes back up to 7%. Uh, bathhouse? Can't have it there. I need this road to continue down, like that. Yes. I also need to roadblock here and just make sure this area is protected a little bit more. Oh, I should have it here. Not here. Okay, that protects these from burning down or collapsing. That's roadblocks, so the market lady does not walk this way. A thousand. Oh, I can use oracles on this, though for the culture rating, I think I should just keep spamming temples. It also helps with uh, desirability. So there's that. There's that. What are these trees are getting in the way? Mercury, Mars, Venus. Okay, so everyone should be covered with temples. The series one here, we actually don't need that there. So let's just throw a series temple right there. That opens this up for other things like bathhouses which just requires a nearby reservoir. Okay, so the bathhouse will go out. Some desirability issues, so let's plaza up the housing areas. Try not to overspend accidentally. Good, good. Uh, it seems like food is struggling a little bit to go out. We have enough food here, it's just not ending up down here. But then again, it, we are going through a first feeding. We, we're starting to have unemployment. So let's throw down a warehouse here. Uh, what is this going to be for? We're going to need... Pottery, furniture, nothing else. Make sure traders, just in case, don't buy anything from there. Uh, clay pit, marble quarry, clay pit. 
and set up a pottery industry here. This is going to be accepting pottery, not for markets, traders, or anything. This is set to getting pottery. Uh, food is being a bit of a problem. Let's do that. Roadblock that. Prefecture, engineers, post, workshop, pottery. Okay, that kind of works. So that's going to be a source of pottery and takes out our unemployment. Food... Uh, we are struggling to get food down here. I did make this choice. <laughs> it's not, necessar not necessarily a good choice. But is there a way I could have the market lady walk a different way. Like, if I have a market here, can I make them... I don't think I can. Not, not like that. done something a little silly, but I think I can still make it work. I just need to get more food down there. It's just too long of a walk, right? I just need to spam granaries. That's all I need to do. So this hill up here, Are we stockpiling any? Not really. But we did just start producing all of this, so that should actually be okay. Cover all of that. Good. Uh, there's the earthquake! Anyone who plays this mission for the first time suffers. <laughs> but this is not my first time. I'm just gonna roadblock them. And all of these are going to be set to getting wheat. Yes. So we've got Granary Hill over here. One was set to accepting. No, no, it's correct. This one's set to accepting, correct. This one set to getting this one? Ah! That's why. Not both of these granaries aren't even working. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's still going? Okay. Alright, it slowly creeps along the edge of the map. One of these granaries wasn't even getting. Uh, that's my bad. Export's still going. A lot more pottery's gonna go in here. This is currently not buying anything else. I can have a second market set up here. Set to just wheat as well. And roadblock there. So I can get rid of that roadblock. 
Yeah, that's good. Imperial dispatch ready. Fantastic. Let's dispatch that. Now you see all this food coming in here. That should help get food distributed. Two markets straight away because of inefficiencies. Oh, we're actually grabbing pottery from there to bring it over here. Um, I guess, sure. That's affecting our exports a little bit, but okay. Everything's nicely evolving. Good, good. Let's start clearing some of these natural trees. For some desirability we're going to need to deal with. Okay, good. The symbol just initiated five Zacolites. The symbol, thank you so much. And everyone, enjoy the gift subs. Wolves, Hyde, Northern Firefighter, Kim Merrin. This reprobate. <laughs> Enjoy the sun. Thank you so much, Nisimble. Alright, so where do we go from here? Exports are fine, so we just need to hit these targets and it's okay. However, there was the note that there are going to be food demands. Uh, so, I am going to set a warehouse here. And Sianto Craft just gifted out a sub as well. Thank you so much. Uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, how many types of food do we have on this map? Wheat, fruit, pigs. So I'm going to go... Oh, we're actually running low on food here. Let's focus on wheat on this side. Three more farms going there. Four more farms. Five more farms. Okay. As houses evolve, we're getting unemployment, which is good. And we get a low bridge. Emperor's Gratitude. A blessing from Neptune. Smooth passage. Uh, so we just have a low bridge over to this side. And then we need three warehouses. One, two, three. The road extends down this way, over like that, and then over this way. And this warehouse accepts wheat, this warehouse accepts fruit, this warehouse accepts meat, uh, turn off all access to these guys. Nope. And then we just put one of each farm over on this side. Also, I think I just break the road, right? And we have fire damage, a wheat farm, a fruit farm, and a pig farm. And that way, if any food requests come in, we'll build up a little bit of a stock over here for the requests. Archer Gaming says, I like your videos a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're prepared to give out pottery. Oh, you know, we're still not looking at enough food down here. Is it because this granary ran out of food a little bit? Yeah, we, we, we still need to stabilize our food supply, I think. Not all of the houses are actually fed. Let's plant some trees. What do we do on this mission? Pine trees? Fir trees? Fir trees might be cool. Let's do fir trees. Stroke the furry trees. There we go. Professional. What am I doing with the granaries? Something a little silly to fit my forced walker thing. I suppose it would have been better if I... I don't know. This map to do forced walkers like this? Like, it didn't seem like there was enough space to do it over here. But then, like, I knew the earthquake was coming, so I couldn't really do it over here. I guess I could have done it here, but then... Food would have been a bit weird. I guess maybe the best place is to have the forced walker set up here. And then have like two bridges over here, farmland, farmland, granary, forced walker. But this place is the easiest to do forced walker. It's just food is far away. <laughs> 
are the earthquakes different every time? No, this one is scripted. It's fixed. It's always like this. So you can actually predict it. Yeah, and you can see here on these middle green grasses, uh, terrain maps, wheat is produced at a faster rate than the other food types. In northern maps and desert maps, it's the same, I think it is. Uh, so wheat is always the preferred first food choice. Okay, food's looking to start to stabilize. Population 1,500, yeah, peace needs to be 30, prosperity needs to be 25, culture. Uh, have I put down, I put down a theater. I should go ahead and throw down the amphitheater. And stick a gladiator school right on the end here. On the bottom road, importantly. Yes, correct. And everything... Oh, I should actually move this... Actually, no, that... This is fine. This is fine. Good. Look at this wonderful city. Let's decorate with other things. Maybe I just give myself a villa on this map. If I put that there and just shift this road over, it might look correct. I'm gonna give myself a villa because I want one. <laughs> I have not thrown doctors down. I've just realized my mistake. When well, no, I have thrown doctors down. I'm just panicking. I'm just panicking. Doctors are fine. Yeah. I did throw doctors down. <laughs> I thought I thought I didn't. Exports are maintaining, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, people love me. One extra tax percent. So everyone seems... Oh, no, not quite. Uh, how is food... The markets have food. Where's the market ladies? I think they're just here. I need to feed these houses. Food supply seems to be stocking up. Right? There's the 10 fruits request. 24 months. Shouldn't be a problem. We have that slowly building up. We have 12% unemployment. Huh, really? I guess that means we should double up on the fruits and the pigs. To catch up with the wheat. Put on another wheat farm there, just to keep that going. Pottery is coming in. Uh, so we can provide pottery relatively easily. Uh, will that get us 25 prosperity? I don't think so. We will need furniture, right? Tarentum. Water trade route. Capua sells timber as well. How do I do this? I'm gonna need to have a warehouse here set to accepting furniture wait was that capua sells timber yeah, but it's not listed here I, I thought in augustus it does list the goods maybe i'm mistaken uh, but we can fit furniture there and then this is going to be getting furniture yes i might need another warehouse getting furniture just to really make sure it gets down here. just getting furniture because pottery is overflowing from there Okay, good. Everyone seems to be fed. The markets have food. So that's working out. Uh, libraries down. Schools. I can preemptively prepare schools. Let's make some room for schools. That 
should cover everyone. Just four schools like that. That's good, right? Uh, we do have marble on this. We have clay and we can import timber. I can build a grand temple. What's a good one? I don't know what they do. Nice. Let's dispatch the fruit. Can I even fit a grand temple? Uh, technically there, I guess. If I could fit it right by the entrance. Into that nook right there. Or build it on the farmland. That seems like a bad idea. could technically fit it there, but that's weird. I think in this nook over here. It kind of fits on the hill, but I've used that for granaries. Okay, I think in this rocky nook right here. Right there. And the road goes around it. Uh, Grand Temple. I feel like... I don't know if the Pantheon... I don't feel like this map is useful for the Pantheon. Uh, series? It feels like since food is the biggest issue, series is what we should build. Right? I think series is the correct choice. Let's throw down series and get this going. Uh, this requires timber and marble. So this cliffside here is going to be production zone. And this coast here is going to be production zone. And then I'm going to need to break this road for organizational purposes. Extend the road that way. This road technically should go like that. And then... I need to have a warehouse. Like here. Which will be accepting clay, uh, marble, and we need to... 8-8. Eight, eight. I'll need to open that trade route. To purchase timber. So this one is getting 16 timber. And then we go marble quarry, marble quarry. Clay pit, clay pit. Firehouse Engineer's Post. Then we need a uh, Engineer's Guild. And that will eventually get our Grand Temple built. Do I consider this game to be the best city builder? In vanilla, Pharaoh is better. Emperor is pretty good too, but military is best in Caesar 3, and with Augustus, it is pretty good. I don't know if I can call it the best city builder, but... It's pretty good. I think it's really good. Uh, okay, so now, if the markets are maintaining food supplies, we can now start unlocking pottery in this one. I guess I can let pottery go into this one as well. And get that going. Prosperity is 15 right now. You can see pottery already being distributed. Needs more entertainment, so I think that is a total overall thing, not coverage. Because theatre coverage is perfect, and amphitheatre coverage is perfect. One theatre covering the whole thing is a bit heavy, isn't it? So we need to spam some theatres. to 
make sure houses evolve. Also, boosts our culture rating. It's now 43 out of 45. That's good. We're up to small insula, which needs furniture. I will wait. 2,000 people. Oh, we're actually really low on money. I should stop spending money. Because we're importing things, right? Oh, don't worry. I got the engineer's post there. Uh, have we brought in... We haven't brought in any timber. So this, yeah, it needs timber, clay, and marble. So as this builds up, it eventually goes through. It's the end of the year, that's why. So we've maxed our... Oh, we haven't actually maxed our exports. We could sell more marble. So we can boost our marble sales, huh? Almost in debt, five denarii in the bank. Oh no, Caesar three has this I problem. Can't wait to do some trading here. I love a good deal. Maybe this should be fixed in Augustus. <laughs> the trade ship is there, but my governor's thick money grows on trees. Okay. People idolize me as a god, 10% tax rate. Uh, since we are in debt, let's go raw materials, marble quarry, one, two. Do that. Two more marble quarries should max out our marble exports. This happens in fair all the time. A uh, ship that spawned later gets priority. No? This ship has priority. So now there's three ships waiting. Because this one... Dark has workers? Yeah, yeah, Dark has workers. Th this happens in Pharaoh all the time. It's just, why don't I normally notice this in Caesar 3? Why does this not happen in Caesar 3? Oh, or it does, but I never really notice it. Look at the city, it's looking nice though, right? Oh, nice big stock of food there. Good. Pottery, more than enough. Food seems to be holding up. Money's coming back in. Have I forgotten to build something? Uh, right, work camp. We need one of these. Got the work camp. Well, I thought I got that. We'll camp behind the Grand Temple. There we go. Now this should be able to progress, or does it need timber? Accepting timber. 1616. Did I set it to importing timber? I did. Okay. There we go, marble being delivered. So this Grand Temple should go along as fast as it can, as long as we keep giving it some resources. So if I go raw materials, we can use our unemployment. 15 pottery, let's dispatch that, easy enough. Clay pit, clay pit, that should speed that up. And raw materials, marble, quarry. Marble, marble. Double the production of that. Firehouse engineer's post shift over to this side. Covers a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Uh, timber not coming in yet. Another sucks. If it was up to me, I wouldn't sail this way. This city never buys anything or sells anything. Would having more docks help? Yes. I'd have to move this, though, I think. I can probably fit it. If I just do this. I can fit a second dock. 
What? I can fit a second duck. Oh, this can actually fit there, so I can clear this. Perfect. Nice. Two docks should streamline that process a bit. We just need marble for this. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of marble. Can I squeeze... Oh, I can squeeze one right there. A blessing from Ceres. Boost the fertility of growing crops. Nice. Put another marble quarry there just to try and boost that up a bit more. Five marble quarries, okay. Uh, we're short ten... No, we have ten surplus workers, okay. Prosperity is 20, it needs to be 25, so furniture is going to be needed. Uh, but we don't have money right now, because I've been spending it all. But we're almost at our target population, so if I just supply furniture, we should get the uh, prosperity we need. Culture is already more than enough. The gods are feeling irritated. Should I give them oracles, or should I just spam more small temples? Spamming small temples is probably fine, right? Let's make some room around here. Pah. Let's do another round of small temples. Price rise of furniture. Okay, getting curses. Okay, two more temples to every god. Putting me in a little bit of debt. Timber is stocking up. Okay, marble is going out. Hail! Life here is great. To Toad Pete. Hail! Life here is great. Dennis the Elder. Oh, those carriers get the names of natives, is it? From the comfort of my villa, I perceive life here to be very good. And that's essentially a patrician, right? Hmm. Okay, so we should actually be okay here. I should just stop importing things I... I can make some money back. Uh, people idolize you as a god. 12% taxes. We are taxing people, right? Yeah, he eventually does walk all the way through. Just not much, because these houses aren't really worth all that much. Uh, it is November again, that's why, so we need to really export things. So we are just waiting on marble, right, for this? Okay, so that should eventually be done. The two docks should keep things streamlined. Everything is good. I think that's all. I think I can actually speed up here. Just make a save. I think this is our city. If we look at our city by zooming out, because this is always fun to do. This is a nice city. Look at that. It's a nice little natural looking thing. Squeezed in that grand temple, which is now getting some progress. Culture is 72? Wow. Favor needs to be 70. We're... Why are we so in debt? We're not importing anything. This was the if other trade route, right? Me, yeah. I wouldn't sail this way. This city never buys anything or sells anything. I'm gonna drop wages. Wait, was that... Is that new? Is that an Augustus Easter egg? What is, what is that? I don't remember... 
No? Was this in vanilla? Happened since the first version. I've played this game for decades. How have I never seen this? That's a vanilla easter egg. I've played this game since 1998 and I have never seen this. How is this game? This is my third playthrough of the game for the channel. How are there still new things I'm discovering? How? How, how are there, how is there still more to this game? <laughs> this is what makes a game last the ages. I know it doesn't sound like much. Oh, there's an easter egg of a sheep floating on some flotsam. And it's like, that doesn't sound like something that would make the game last the ages. But it's just, it's just the fact that you can play this game for 20 years and still discover something new. Right? It's just... That's, that's kind of crazy. People are extremely pleased with me. 13% tax. Favor's gonna need a big boost. Did I send a gift? Requests aren't really coming in. I think this marble should get us to the next phase on this grand temple. Twenty out of twenty. We have timber as well. Here comes the builder. Hail! Isn't this a great city? That's how he builds. He's a supervisor. He just holds up the plans and he's like, yes, do it. And then we get a bit of progress. <laughs> Am I getting furniture soon? Uh, I'll, I could import it, but it's not essential. I've actually already hit my prosperity, so I don't need furniture. I actually don't need furniture. We just need peace and a bit of population, which I could throw down some extra houses, I guess. I think we are actually profiting quite a bit. I've just been spending way too much. I might start... Okay, it's a new year, so I guess I can start importing furniture now. It's only 15 units. Is that gonna hold? If it was up to me, I wouldn't sail this way. All right, this I gotta start city never buys anything or sells importing anything. timber again, because we're gonna need it. So we can provide furniture just to get us to our target population, but we're only short 200 people. So if I just put down three houses, we're actually going to hit our target pop. So if I just do, for example, one, two, three. That will actually do it. Get us to our target population. Trees, fir trees, around that side. Three, like that. That looks good. Are people upset? No, people are very pleased with me. Good. So I imported... Uh, what have I imported? I haven't bought any furniture. Where did all my money go? Where did all my money go? I didn't buy anything. I had like two, three thousand in the bank. People are pleased with me, so I can't raise taxes anymore. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
15 fruit, I can do that. Importing furniture, importing wood, low taxes. Taxes are 13%. I imported no wood and no furniture. I've imported zero furniture and I only got six wood. Six wood does not cost 3,000. <laughs> what, what cost me money? So far this year, expenses, imports, wages, construction, building levies. Right, maintenance cost of new buildings. That's 640. Interest at 10%. Uh Okay, building levies. What is costing what is building levies? Temples. Temples have levies. You had no idea it existed. It's it's in Augustus. It's added. Temples cost four denarii a month. That's costing me, s but that's only 640 a year. It, it's an extra cost, but. I don't know where all that money went. It's a bit confusing. Need to supply pottery. Mood is dropping. Okay. So I can't have taxes at 13%. Let's drop it down to 11 again. Taxes are way higher than normal. Over 10% is pretty high. It's just uh, these buildings don't pay that much tax. How much tax do I get? Last year was 2,800. So it doesn't quite cover wages, but it's pretty close. Okay, these extra houses are in. We're at our target population. Okay, we're gonna need timber to continue finishing this monument. Which, it's a personal challenge to do a grand temple on all of these maps. Okay, 56 favor. So I finished the grand temple and peace will be where it needs to be in a year or two. So if I just send a gift to season actually no i should be able to wait right if another request comes in so i'm just gonna send a gift to caesar now just empty out my personal savings we're at 66 favor so we can actually win as soon as this temple completes we could actually win before that but I like how this turned out. Oh, we're actually low on food here. That's why we're... Oh, it's because everyone rushed down to here. This is not ideal. We need another granary. Because once this fills up... They all go down to those granaries. And then... It becomes a problem. There we go. There we go. Okay. Second granary means when this overflows, it goes into that one. So there's a bigger stock here before they start flowing down into the far granaries. Okay. Could I already be paying the Grand Temple Levy? People still disgruntled? People are annoyed with me? Oh no. Lower taxes, higher wages. We actually just need some timber. I like, I like how this has a lot of information by the way. You see construction phase 4 out of 5, uh, presyn presynctum, presynctum? So that's also, I assume, a historical phase. Right? So they, they, 
the modders put a little effort into putting actual information into there, right? That's nice. So we have quite a bit of timber in. I probably need a bit more timber. We need four timber to finish this phase, and then we're gonna need... There's 15 timber. I'm not sure how much did it need for this phase? 16? I assume we'll need 16 again for the final phase. Okay, it's got what it needs for this phase. Nice. Final phase. Dedicatio. Wait, what does it need? It doesn't need any resources. It just needs to be built. Oh, so culture now is 65. I need to see... Does this actually increase our culture? I, I think I chose the option so that Grand Temples give... Um... Eight culture. The price rise of marble. Okay, it's fine. I can't tell. Is this working? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with watching this process. I think it needs to send a number of workers over, right? Grand Temple completed. Priests and worshippers flock to the new Grand Temple for the rites of dedication. Your people stand in awe of the majesty of your works and your chosen deity showers you with favor. Grand Temple complete, which also shows here as a darkened one color on large, and I think they're permanently happy. And the Grand Temple, first series taught the laboring hind to plow the pregnant earth and quickening seed to sow. She first for man did wholesome food provide and with just laws the wicked world supplied. Ovid the Metamorphoses, Book 5. 48 denarii a month, 50 workers, card pushes from farms move 50% faster and I can bestow an epithet on the temple. This is sort of like the little extra add-ons on pharaoh uh, temple complexes. The series, Temple of Ceres Promitor. Priests reduce food consumption by 20% or Reparator. Priests collect and distribute both oil and one food type from the city storage. So I think food consumption by 20% less, that's just really good. And it costs a thousand to do, but I'm gonna do it. And it adds, it changes the graphic. So now the city, I assume being touched by Ceres temples, a series priests basically should be eating less food which should solve our food problem also see how fast the cart pushes are now <laughs> zoom 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 nice right also we should just stop this we didn't need furniture Make a save. And now we can win the game by just sending a gift to Caesar. Ah, oh, culture did go up by eight, so fantastic. This, I, what, part of this challenge to do this is so that we can build two uh, grand temples to get 16 culture, so that culture dumps should be less required. Though, so like you can see here, we have 73 culture from all of this. It was 65 before the Grand Temple. So it's much easier to get culture much higher without dumping a bunch of theaters and temples and schools and academies and all of that. Uh, also, it does balance out. This takes 50 employees, so the workers that would normally be used on a culture dump now uh, get dumped into the temple complex and the other industries related to building temple complexes. Right, so that's nice. That sound effect. Where does that come from? It's not the dock. Where's that sound effect from? I mean, the mod has used it from something. Now you can see our food supplies stocking up. Second granary here with the series temple complex. Does a great job. Okay, time to win. 
Right? Time to win? Let's send another gift. How long's it been? 17 months? Yeah, just send that. That should do it. Nice, and yet not. Okay, let's wait a year. Let's wait a year. <laughs> Hold on, we just have to wait 12 months. We just have to wait 12 months. Let's watch our city in action. There we go, there's our city. Doing its thing. Nice little city, right? We've seen the floating sheep. That'll do it. And that will be victory. Let us accept promotion. Taraco's food exports got the Empire through a dark period. Citizens owe you their lives, and governors their jobs. Harvests are now returning to normal, and I have a new use for your talents. All right, that's gonna be the end of Taraco. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we're We've been going through this playthrough pretty nicely. Force Walk is allowing us to do some grand things. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzack. Direct support means we run fewer ads on YouTube, so even a dollar a month is far more support than anything ad revenue or anything else could really do. So a dollar a month on Patreon really, really does go a long way. And it's uh, kind of especially important now for me to mention this because the US has decided to tax me even more. Even though I'm a Malaysian citizen, the US can tax me through YouTube. <laughs> So, uh, it's estimated about 12 to 15% of my total income is just going to disappear in a few months. So, thank you so much for any direct support. You can also check out gamersact.com slash shop. But Patreon is sort of the most direct, helpful way to do that. So, thank you so much for checking that out and for supporting. Uh, join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, at Gamerzak on all of those. Drop by and say hi on the Discord, discord.gg slash Gamerzak. The Zack Lights, we hang out all day talking about Caesar 3 and Augustus and Pharaoh and all of that stuff right there. Um, good, good. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.